Hey guys, what's going on? Jake here, and welcome to episode number 51 of the Shetix Boys. The best specific player RTG in the whole entire game. And in today's video, boys, we have got some absolutely wild stuff. Starting off with some pack pulls um, and some pack, pull, wait, pack pulls and objectives being claimed and things like that. And then we move into a bit of gameplay before heading over to Live Jake, which then my mic breaks. So we then switch back to me talking over live content again. So that's the plan for this episode. Uh, for, uh, again, thank you all for the recent support. Been much appreciated. So we can please keep that up. Um, keep watching. Keep liking. Keep commenting. Let me know your thoughts and improvements and feedback. And tell me stuff about your ultimate team. You know, anything you want, really. And uh, yeah, subscribe and all that. So without further ado, let's start talking about what is actually going on on the screen. And that is our pack. So, so far, we've not had the best of pack pulls. An 81 by 2 here. Let's see what we can get. It's going to be a Spanish center mid. We can skip for it. I mean, we, we've just been playing like every single day to make sure we get to the final level of the season, which has now ended as of doing this voiceover. It is now Saturday, the day after foot birthday came out. But I think some of this content even stretches back to like Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, so it's um it's an interesting, interesting time on the account right now. Um I haven't done daily play today either, so I do actually need to do that. Am I gonna do that right now though? Definitely not. I have not got the time or the patience to do that. I've been playing a lot of cop career mode lately. I do want to make another uh, series on cop career mode. And on co I'm not on co-op career mode, but on a career mode. I'm not sure who I'd do it with though. Maybe Hass because they're coming back into fruition now. I don't know. But no matter what, there'd be like no flashbacks in it, I think. And it'd just be me trying to get my consistency better. But we did get a duplicate Kimmich there. And uh, I think we ended up recycling him into an exchange. So let's open up the final few of these packs. The first one is going to be a double walkout of Trent and Haran. Um, which is not too bad. Some decent fodder there. Not really exchange ideal, but we don't, we're not really like on an exchange grind like most other people are. Uh, right, but 84 by 5 here. It's going to be a Portuguese striker. That's going to be Cristiano Ronaldo, um, which isn't too bad. Decent fodder. Double walkout. Oh my god, it's the winner wild cards. That was my genuine reaction. That GCSE grade in drama. Has really helped there because that was my exact reaction. I forgot that Ronaldo was in packs as a special card. And we have just packed 2 million coins. Cristiano Ronaldo from an 84 by 5. Oh my word. So you know we've got to get him into a team. He's worth 2 million coins. Him and Messi in a team together. This isn't the team we actually use because the co-op. I was playing co-op with mate Sam and he was like, Oh I need to do the MLS play with those three women. So I had to put them free and off cam. So I did for the games, and you know what? Considering we were using a makeshift team, we were actually playing quite well. So let's get into a couple of the best highlights from that gameplay. So we're already 1-0 up here um, against this guy. Um, my mate Sam, he's Division 6, he's not very good, but, wh but when you tell him to do something, he does it. He's, he's very good when he's got instruction. And Bappe on the wing now. He's learning skill moves as well as Sam. He's, he's improving, bless him. Pick it, nice little whip cross plus, bang, header, Goal, Ronaldo, and it's just as simple as that. I am looking forward to using, using this Ronaldo for the rest of the year, as I am absolutely sat down there. I thought that the slide tackle would maybe be a bit more effective, considering he has the slide tackle play style, um, but unfortunately not. Um, but we're coming straight up the other end. I'm showing you guys how to do the LB and then a speed boost, which is really effective on the wings. We do it to get past the defender. Ball whipped in and a scissor kick from Okafor with that acrobatic plus. Finally being used effectively on the account. Most of them cards are not getting used. That's why I've done the Eredivisie ones because, you know, more fun. Um, but we're able to recover the ball here. Ronaldo, sombrero flick. Green timed. Go on. Oh, you naughty, naughty fucker. What a goal that is from Cristiano. Oh, my word. That is a disgusting little goal. Let's re reload it. Watch that back. Bang, ball up, sombrero flick, bicycle kick on the green time, lobbed over the keeper. That is phenomenal. As we are now into another game here, Okafor with Sam. Gives it to Kante. Kante with a scissor kick. He didn't want to go for the header. He just jumped eight foot off the floor and scissor kicked it instead. What a goal from Ngolo Ngolo. 
Oh, we are scoring some absolute screamers to end off today's gameplay session. And I think in the end, me and Sam, we only played three because that's what we needed to do. And then we played pro clubs. We won two, the last two, and we drew our first game. So, you know what? That's not too bad. So, we don't mind it. And I think we've now completed, thanks to that daily objectives, we've now got to level 25, I think it was this season. Well, I can't remember exactly. But all I know is that we definitely won't be taking that Figo. A bit of a waste of a card, to be honest with you. Um, the other pack, which was like some icon pack, not worth it at all. Um, but then the 84 by 20 is just decent fodder at the end of the day. So we will take that instead. Yeah, one of three 87 plus fantasy cards. Yeah, the chances of you getting a good one, especially now that they've all been upgraded, isn't ideal. But EA brought up a new update, which means you can now turn off and on loan cards in your club. We can finally do club tours effectively, boys. Oh my word, it's a, it's a good day to be alive. It's a really good day to be alive. As we have now been working on the Stein Evo, and we only had two days left on the generous goal scorer. So we just put our Brobby, which we can't upgrade into it. Um, um, and we just got him up to an 86. And yeah, we're about to go into the live section now. But before I go into that live section, I need some Deadpool Plus. Let's get into some foot birthday content, boys. Hope you all are going to enjoy live me. And I'll be back to talk over the content once my mic has broken. Um, but yeah, bear, bear with me. There are a few tech issues during the live bit. But the content is still decent nonetheless. But oh my word, what a free kick. Hey guys, what's going on? Jake here, and you know what? You've already seen a little bit of content so far, and an unreal player has been packed. Winter wildcard, Cristiano Ronaldo. Unreal pack pull worth 2 million coins, but today, I am here on live stream for the first time in a while in a video for foot birthday. And the reason is because we always do a live stream when it comes to a pack hoarding video, where I've saved packs for a promo and I just want to open them and, you know, maybe make some content and today is that day. So we do need to crack through a couple of things, actually. Um, uh, we need to talk through the brand new Rivals rewards and the brand new season. And we also need to talk about the brand new SBC that came out. And that I've probably already spoken about a little bit in the video, but we're going to speak about a little bit more right here. So... First of all, thank you guys for all the recent support and all that. I know I've probably been speaking about that already, but, you know, let's get into the content. So let's look at the season. So, um, the season is pretty decent. You get a Bellerin, which looks pretty nice. You get a McKenny, who is a Schalke career mode legend for me. So I'm going to be using this card and probably never going to be putting it into an SPC because I love him on career mode. And then this Insigne, I've always loved Insigne cards. We'll obviously take the five-star skill moves one. Um, and then obviously you work your way up to level 40, which is this pretty cool icon pick. I don't know how far I actually care about going. I'll try to go as far as I can. Um, but if I can't go all the way, then it is what it is. Um, FC Pro, we didn't get anything new. Um, obviously it's not 6 o'clock content yet. We're doing the daily logins as we go along. 14 days left on that with another um, 13 to do. Uh, Ultimate Birthday Champs bonus. I don't really want to play champs. I know it's out for 38 days, but like playing champs, I mean, what do you need to do to get one of the red Evo picks? 35 wins and 75 wins. Ooh, that is so much effort. Um, but I would be down to play a foot champs sometime soon. And then in seasonal, obviously, Kolo Moani's here, but you need to get the Bellerin, the McKenny, and then in Singye, so you need to get to level 30 before you can do this uh, Kolo Moani card, which does look all right. Uh, foot birthday home and away. The kit should be coming out tonight at 6. So we'll have a look into maybe buying them because we have 924k. But foot birthday boys has historically been one of my favourite promos. We've had foot birthday Ronaldo Sanchez. We've had foot birthday Henlik Mkhitaryan. Um, just to name a couple of the cards that we've had during foot birthday over the years. And I have absolutely adored. We I did see a leak. I can't remember half of them. I know we get Messi and Hullet. Um, but I have what I, from what I've seen, there shouldn't be that many dud cards. Which means... If we pack one, it should be a W. So, with that said, let's now go into the important stuff in terms of content. The Rivals Rewards. Because EA have done a madness and they have completely revamped Rivals Rewards. So, so for Division 4, which is where I got relegated to from last season. Um, for 7 wins, you now get a Rare Mega Pack, a Prime Gold. You know, let's view the untradeable option. 2 Rare Megas, 2 Prime Gold Players Packs. 285 by threes, 284 by fours. 
what on earth? And from where I was last season in Division 3, if you have a look at the Division 3 rewards, um, option 2, 250k packs, 2 Jumbo Premium Gold Players packs, 4 Jumbo Premium Gold packs, 284x5s and 286x2s, along with 700 XP. I mean, Division 3 looks absolutely unreal. And then you move to Division 2. In Division 2, what you're getting yourself is you're getting yourself uh, 4 86 times freeze, 2 rare electrums, 2 rare players, 2 jumbo premium gold packs. What on earth are EA cooking up here? EA Sports, you're on a madness right now. How many coins do you even get for this up division? Only 32k and they're giving you stuff like that. I mean, 286 by freeze, by the way. Tradable is actually unreal. That's like 30, that's 60k guaranteed pretty much. Uh, obviously, we probably won't get to Division 1, but if we did get to Division 1 somehow, I'm not even going to screenshot these because I doubt I'll ever get there because I don't think I've got the patience. 285 by 4s, 287 by 2s, 4 rare gold packs, 2 prime gold players packs, and 2 100k packs. Or alternatively, you could just get yourself a cheeky little 40,000 coins in the club. I mean, yeah, it is what it is, you know, just, just calm. And you still get these packs, which, oh my word, like EA. Come on, what are you doing? Fuck, it's unreal. Absolutely unreal for me, eh? So, um, yeah, that is that spoken about. The Rivals rewards look insane. So I'm actually, instead of playing champs, because I don't care about red picks and stuff, I'm going to prioritise. I'm 100% going to prioritise Rivals over champs, and we're going to make sure we get our seven wins each week for those incredible rewards. So it actually motivates me now to play this game a bit more. Um, hopefully, EA will release a banging foot birthday Evo as well. Which apparently there is going to be one that gives you 5 star skills and uh, technical plus. Which, you know, if Ben Woodburn goes into it, boys, come on. Oh, I'd be buzzing. But let's talk about the SBC. So Felix and Papai are simply too expensive. I just I think I can afford them, but I just think they're a waste. I know Felix will be really cool with the upgrades and Barcelona and probably will win. But I just don't really care enough. We're not doing any more encore icon upgrades. Um, don't care about any of this stuff, to be honest with you. Just a waste of fodder. And I have nothing in the club right now. We need today's packs. Um, we're going to be doing these 83 plus player picks um, as soon as this clip ends for 6 o'clock content. And then we need to do the daily gold upgrades as well. But this is the card I want to talk about. Alessandro Bastoni. So he is six foot three at centre-back, which, you know, we haven't had the tallest of centre-backs lately. We've had Lucio and Maldini, and I've also got a Kanji. So we're about to have four of the best centre-backs on the game. Which... For me, I would love to use this Bastoni over a Kanji. Main reason, Man a Kanji plays for Man City, a bit of a knobhead. Um, and Bastoni's got Anticipate Plus, Italian Passion. We love a good Italian centre-back on the account. Chiellini's foot captain's card. Whew, what a card that is, or was, should I say. Um, and then also we have Maldini as well, so easy links there. I know we have Lucio, who's probably still one of the best centre-backs on the game, but five of the backs still exist, so, you know, if I ever really want to just be be sad i could play five at the back but i kind of just want to try out new cards and this one's a must do because if this card goes ahead and gets the plus two plus the evo plus one on every stat but defending this card will end up as 92 rated with 95 defending 91 physicals 83 dribbling 83 passing and 86 pace at a minimum that's if ea don't decide to go hey you know what let's just give him plus uh free dribbling on his plus two overall upgrade for winning the game so, that would make this card unreal. And I know we have Bobby Clark, but Bobby Clark's already good everywhere. This card also has all of the passing play styles. Long ball and incisive pass as a combo. Just over the top through balls will be absolutely unreal out to your wingers or your fullbacks if they're attacking. Uh, block and jockey, very nice. Anticipate is unreal. Slide tackle, a little bit air, but I do love a good slide tackle nowadays. Especially when you have Maldini at the back along with Bastoni. It just screams passion. And then Ariel on a man who's 6'3". And a left-footed centre-back to go alongside Maldini. And it's actually perfect. So that's the plan on the RTG right now, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, nine-minute waffle sesh. So let's get into the six o'clock content. Available evolutions. Down the right side, Golden Globe. Legends of the Pitch. Legends of the Pitch 2. Jack of all trades. And Jack of all trades 2. So defending max 60. Passing max 90, pace max 89, overall max 85, number of play stars max 1, play style plus is max 1, sorry. You get 2 pace, 2 shooting, 2 passing, 6, um, no, sorry. You get 2 pace, 
No, sorry. Free pace, free shooting, six passing, free dribbling, and four physicals. Plus, you get first touch plus. Okay. Then there's still the showdown winner's boost. And the weak foot peak. Oh. So, you need a player with max 85 overall, max 85 pace, max 89 defending, minimum 60 defending, and 86 physicals with max and one number of play styles. And you get two defending, two physical. Uh, I don't think I can really give you that much of a boost, to be honest with you. I think that's quite a bad one. Unless you have, like, an Evo. Wait, let's have a look. What shooter? You do get a shooting upgrade. You do get a passing upgrade. You do get a dribbling upgrade. So, I guess maybe... To be fair, Benini would be alright. Benini with 90 dribbling, 90 passing. She looks okay. And she can be done fully in squad battle. She gets jockey plus. Five star weak foot, four star skill moves. Actually looks kind of cool. So maybe Benini is a decent one, to be fair. There's gold Raphael Varane. <laughs> oh my word. Uh, Hula Diego. 90 rated Raphael Varane with anticipated aerial only. Okay. So what are EA cooking? Oh anticipate and jockey now so that kind of negates his awful agility and balance good reactions and composure okay passing okay pace okay defending okay he's an it's an awful card like listen it's an awful card but it is rafael varan at the end of the day uh then there's dewsbury hall oh mate i might have to evo him for george i don't know you none of you will know who george is but you know george is buzzing right now dewsbury hall whack him in um Minge, we could upgrade Minge. There we go. Cold, get Minge upgraded. Look at uh, Unreal Minge. I I just stop. I'm just a, a huge child. Oh, they go to five star weak foot no matter what. So maybe picking someone with an awful weak foot would be smart. Uh, so then there's Zalazar. Zalazar um, looks okay. I think the best one here is definitely Benini. I mean, I don't think anyone else actually looks that good. Uh, oh. Matt Palmer of Notts County. I've got a season ticket of Notts County, boys. I I don't know, though. I feel like it's just a... He's got decent passing play styles, press proven, and jockey. Five-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. High, medium, five foot, ten. Sh can't shoot. Okay pace. Bang average passing. Decent dribbling. Mid defending and bang average physicals, other than stamina, which is really good. He looks all right. He's not awful, but at the very least, like he's quite good. So let's look at this other Evo as well, um, which is Jack of All Trades. I think these are the exact same. So let's have a look. Jack of All Trades. Kubo, Dominic, Subasly. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that card? <laughs> he goes to five star, five star. What do you mean? What do you mean? That card isn't real, boys. We found the best card. Deadpool Plus. First Touch Plus. Travella. Technical Flair. Whip Pass. Press Proven. Power Shot. This is unreal. Who, who at EA commissioned this? I want your number and I want to give you a massive hug. You are a phenomenal, phenomenal blow. Tiago Almada for the Messi link. Who says no? Actually, looks kind of good. Nah, joking. His shooting's awful. Right, so Dominic Sobosly is definitely getting done. What about this Leandro Trossard? Is this Leandro Trossard? Trossard? Trossard, any good? Five-star, five-star Leandro Trossard, you know. With okay shooting. Oh, is this his fully upgraded card? Yeah, with decent, with really nice dribbling. Really decent pace. I mean, all you really need on this card is a hunter to get him really good sprint speed and really good shooting. Already decent passing and dribbling. He's got rapid quick step. He's got Travella, long ball pass, uh, first touch plus. I mean, this looks like a really good card as well. I mean, why not? Who says no? And then Takafusa Kubo has same pace, um, same dribbling, same passing, two worse shooting, one better physical. So I don't know if it'll actually be worth doing him. Girasai. He fits into it to be fair to him. I think he goes to will go to five star, five star as well. He will. Five star, five star Girasai. With power header, power shot, flare, and first touch. It's a bit a bit mid. High low work rate is quite good. Good dribbling of an agility and balance. Decent passing. Really good shooting and alright pace and really good physicals. 
But I think there's better Garassi cards. There's already better Boniface cards. There's no point doing a Boniface. Um, but other than that, I mean, Girasai is not the worst option in the world. But I think definitely Dominic Sabasai has to get done. Especially because he's got Dead Ball Plus, which is something I'm obsessed with right now. I mean, that card is just phenomenal. Does he get a um, a boost in positions? Does he get another position? He doesn't. He can only play cams. He's like Kaka, but probably better. What what would you give this card? Because you've got really good sprint speed, decent acceleration. He doesn't have any of the pace play styles. So you probably want him to be as fast as possible. And you want dribbling on him. If you're going to play him like actually cam. I don't know. Maybe an engine. I think engine. Yeah, definitely got to be engine, don't it? Give this card an engine and watch him cook. No relentless is a bit of a scam considering he runs for 90 minutes. But, oh my word, I, that Sober Slide is going to be unreal. Uh, let's just take a look at the Kubo just to make sure we don't want him. I mean, he looks okay. But this Evo is definitely, like, the best one we've had all year. And that Sober Slide is definitely getting done. I wonder how much you've got to do for that Sober Slide. You need to play five rivals in the first final level. You need to play three rivals, score four, and win two. Play five, win two, assist four. I mean, this card's got to get done, so we'll get him done eventually. And into that other Evo, probably just Benini because she's like the. So, now that you've heard all of that content and stuff, we are definitely going to be doing Dominic Sobosly. I had a look more into Trossard. I don't think he's really that worth it. So, we'll see if we can maybe get someone else to fit into it at some point. But this Virgil van Dijk was worth 45k when I packed him. He then immediately crashed down to 33,000 coins, which is a bit of a shame. So, we'll probably just keep that card in the account as a first owner. Better than the Euro card. Gold card, kind of cool. It's gold van Dijk. He's got that aura about him. So... Yeah, it is a bit of a shame that my stream audio was broken, um, but I guess now you get me back, and I've also managed to crop down the footage, screen recorder and stuff, just to make sure it's still in here. We have now got a 84 plus pack, which is going to reward us with a cheeky little German inform. It's going to be Stock, I think his name is, which I have no idea who the bloke is, but you know, decent fodder at the end of the day, we'll take it. Six minutes left of voiceover. Oh, and there's an advert playing on my TV, and my brother is now screaming like a retard, probably because he just died on Fortnite. So, yeah. Who remembers Fortnite, by the way? That's crazy. Um, I'd stop talking about that. Um, but you know what we can talk about, though, whilst we're getting incredible fun at, like, Diani in the next pack? Um, we can talk about what content's coming. So I want to keep Machetix boys going. Obviously, as I've said, I love... I'd love to make pro clubs content. I'd love to make career mode content. Football manager, I've kind of gone off that now, but I still think it's kind of cool, to be honest with you. Minecraft, I'm playing quite a bit now. I'd love to make content on that, so when Hardcore comes out, you know for a fact I'm going to be hopping on that grind. F1, the new game comes out in June instead of July this year, so we'll make probably one career mode before that if we do some content. Probably Haas or McLaren, as here is where we get Diani. Might have jumped the gun a little bit too early just a second ago. But it is what it is. Diani is quite a nice pull. Decent fodder. We have quite a lot of fodder in the club, like high rated. So I'm thinking maybe we start Kingsley Coman, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, we've just done Bastoni and stuff. So we've just sent quite a bit of fodder. Um, but do we really want to get that Coman? I mean, he links to Kimmich, but we have so many good midfielders in the club already. We have so many good defenders in the club already, so many good wingers. I mean, we have Mbappe, Woodburn, Armstrong, Smolarek, uh, Dybala, Cristiano Ronaldo, Politano, Julie. We have so many good attackers that, you know, he just doesn't make the cut. And you thought I was going to get excited there. I know it's stack. I'm not going to get excited by stack. So, and we also pack him again later. 
Um, so we have so many good options. And in the midfield, we have Bashetic, Bobby Clark. Um, I like playing Acuna there. There's this Marmouche that just got upgraded as well, by the way. I'd love to use this card at some point um, because I just think he looks really cool. Um, and then on other midfielders, we have the new Sobersly that's going to get upgraded in my club. We have Rolfo. We have Alexia Putelas. You know, the unreal cards in the club. McAllister. So I just don't really need to bring back the Kimmich and Thingy combination in the team. I just don't really care about that Kimmich unless he gets fully upgraded. So I don't need to bring back that Comey and Kimmich upgrade like combo. The only position I really care about in my team, improving wise, probably just getting an icon goalkeeper or an icon left back in the club. So we'll have a look at who's out as SPCs and we'll see who we like want to commit to, like out of all the icons, because I just need more icon links to be honest with you. I'm happy with the players in the club. Um as we are now approaching our 84 by 20. Um so, yeah, they're, they're currently out. There's Baggio, overpriced, Cannavaro, not as good as Maldini or, or uh, Bastoni or Akanji. Jezinho, I'm not spending that much. Jassin, Yashin's overpriced, Torres is overpriced. That Socrates is kind of cool, but I don't need more midfielders, especially when soboslai has got similar stats and plays for Liverpool, so more passion for me. Henri, Zico's really good, but I don't really care too much now that I've got Soboslai with dead ball plus. Um... But yeah, Bastoni there, done. As I said, mentioned him a minute ago. I'm really looking forward to using him. But now we have Van Dyke, we have Canate, we have Lucio, we have Maldini, we have Akanji, and we have Bastoni. So we have some of the best centre backs on the game in the club. There's Sauer that's out, there's Best that's out, Rijkaard, we don't need him. We need a left back. There are no left back SBC icons out. Um, there are no goalkeeper icons out. There's a Van der Sar which we can buy, which I am actually quite tempted to buy. So, we'll wait and see what we do there. Uh, but, yeah, next episode should be Rivals gameplay. Probably going to be working on the Sobosly Evo now because I want to get that done ASAP because we still have, like, I don't know, quite a bit of time on our other Evos, which, to be fair, we've been quite efficient with them so far. Um, I'll tell you now that we have we have 13 days on Academy Midfielders 2 and then we have 6 days on Academy Attackers for Afenia. So, we should probably, out of these two, start doing Afenia next. And just try to get them six wins and stuff. And in terms of other revolutions that are out, as from our 84 by 20, we're going to get two walkout informs, which would be nice fodder for a big SBC. We're not going to do the Academy Defenders 2. We're not doing down the right side. We're not doing Golden Glow. We're not doing Legends of the Pitch. Jack of All Trades 1 will be Sly 100%. Showdown Winners Boost, I'm going to try put that on Bastoni if he gets the upgrade, which would be nice. And then Weak Foot Peak, I have no idea who I want. Probably Benini, because it will just be easy to do. And she actually looks half decent. So... The duplicates I didn't end up using were Stack, Rodri, and um, Thingy. So, Stack, Rodri, and Oberdorf. But then we did this this little player pick thing. And out of all these cards, the one that suits me the most is this Manuel. Five star, four star, high, high, five foot five. Really decent play styles, to be honest with you. Like, fun ones as well. He's got very nice pace, very nice dribbling. Decent shooting, all right passing. This guy's got every defensive play style and is really fast, but his defending's just not good enough. His um, reaction, his reaction and composure are actually quite decent, but his passing's just not good enough. He doesn't have any passing play styles. So for me, it was quite an easy decision in order to take... Because um, you just want a defender that can defend, so you you want that man well. Um, if I could pick that Amadovic... I can't even link that Amadovic. Like, Manuel, he, he's got links to LeBron and Courtois. But if we do the Sobosly vote, which we probably will, this is the Liverpool team we'll be rocking with. Jota, Sobosly, McManaman as a front three. Actually, it's really cool. Clark, McAllister, Bichetic in the midfield, and then that back four. Would love some upgrades at the fullbacks, but no special cards have been released because this Sobosly is going to come out with 5-star, five 5-star, five 91 pace, 91 passing, 90 dribbling, and 90 shooting. So we'll see how he feels in-game and then give him a chem-style kind of thing. This Benini's out. Um, you could put her into an Evo as well. She'll end up with 84 pace, 90 passing and dribbling, 87 shooting. So she'll be all right. She'll have five star week for four star skill moves and some solid play style. So maybe we may as well just put her into it. Maybe even just for fodder. Because why not, eh? And this is the team that we're looking to use next episode. Um, I can also, I have made a variant of this team with Ronaldo in it, which is probably the one we're going to use, hence why. I have not showed it because it's going to be a surprise for the next episode. So thank you all for watching, guys. Uh, thank you all for the support, as I've said before. Um, I'll see you all in the next one. And I am looking forward to getting some gameplay done and getting that Sobosly Evo because this is why I play this game for Evolutions. The only thing I care about.